sometimes you just wake up and you have so much to do. Sorry, the sun is blinding me. We have a ton of things to do here on the homestead that doesn't really fit into one of our how-to categories. So we're just going to take you along on our day-to-day -day and show you some things that we're doing. This will probably take several videos, so stick with us. We might throw them in as bonus videos for the week, but gives you an idea of what we're up against sometimes. area here we cleared it out because we're going to move we have this little shelter thing that we've been keeping the lawnmower stump grinder under it was just temporary it was before we really started doing anything out here so we're going to move it over here again temporary because we don't have a spot cleared for the back where we want it so baby steps let me show you what we're moving. It's not pretty. I know, it doesn't look like much. It's just this big metal frame with some tarps on it right now. Oh, we're actually going to flip it on its and set it up over in the area we just cleared for the same purposes to put the stock grinder and the lawnmower and so forth to keep them out of the weather but we need this moved out of our way
So that's actually our driveway right there. I know it's not paved yet, but between this broken tree and this structure we placed here temporarily, we can't get our vehicles or tractor through easily. We can get them through, but there's just, you really have to maneuver it carefully. So we're going to move it to the side to give us a lot. Actually, it'll give us this much more room. So that's quite substantial. So to make this a bit easier to move, what we did is we took an IBC tote that we weren't using and we made sleds on the bottom post. You'd be surprised how well that worked to get it to where it is now. And pulled it with the riding lawnmower. Mm-hmm. 17 horsepower, 1,000 craftsmen. Worked like a charm. Y'all remember, we're finding these things all over the property. Okay, so it's not pretty, but it'll work to keep stuff dry for now. Eventually, we're going to use the wood we cut off the sawmill, and we're going to frame this out to make a shed. But in the meantime, there we go. And gives us a lot more room to get between the trailer and the tree. And we're still going to take all that down. It'll give us a lot more room. Let's see what Jeff's up to now. Huh? Moving some logs. Seems to be a never ending battle around here. Bamboo and logs. It's the price you pay for clearing your own land. <laughs> 